Hi students, welcome to the session on comparisons due to parallel training capacitor using Laplace equation. Right? Already we derived the equation for comparisons uh, for due to parallel plate capacitor, but with that we have used the concept of electric field. Right? Here we are going to use Laplace equation. Whenever you want to use Laplace equation, we have, we need boundary conditions. I told right. So let us see that and uh, find how to determine the capacitance due to parallel plate capacitor. Here you see, here we have uh, two parallel plate capacitor of area. Let us assume the area of the plate is uh, A, right, which is kept in parallel to XY plane. You see, this is what XY plane. Assume that it is our uh, corner of home. This is uh, our uh, ground plane is XY. Height is a Z plane. So we keep our capacitor plate parallel to XY plane like that. Fine. So that is one important thing. The distance between the two plate is uh, D. Right. This distance is simply D. One plate is ground means other plate is uh, D meter above the uh, ground plate. Right. So this is filled with the dielectric material epsilon. Okay, so and VO and VD, right? These are all the potential, right? V, uh, the lower plane has potential of zero, and upper plane has the potential of uh, VD, right? So that we have to remember. Okay, now we will see, right? So, so sorry, it is zero, it is VD. Okay, it is let us assume it is VO for simplicity, right? Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to follow certain algorithm, right? So for deriving a capacitance due to parallel plate or cylindrical or spherical, you follow this algorithm for all the three derivations. First thing is you find you integrate right Laplace equation twice. This is the first thing for all the three derivations, right? For this only I will tell, remaining to a derivation we will do directly. First you integrate Laplace equation twice. Apply boundary condition next. Right? So this is for easy understanding and derivation. Right? So you don't need to write it in exam, just you have to understand. Right? Then uh, apply integration, apply boundary condition, find V. Right? From V you find E. E is equal to minus del V. From E you find D, D is equal to epsilon E. From D we know that the surface charge density is D vector, right? So from this uh, you can find 7, from D, once you find the surface charge density you can find the total charge, surface charge density into area will give total charge. Finally, step 8 is C is equal to Q by V. So Q we found, we already we know, C is equal to Q by V. This is what logic we have to use whenever we apply Laplace equation to derive the uh, capacitance, right? So first we derive Laplace equation. It is a Cartesian coordinate. For Cartesian coordinate, Laplace equation is uh, del squared V is equal to dou squared V by dou x squared plus dou squared V by dou y squared plus dou squared V by dou z squared is equal to 0 but our plate is on z direction only so there is no x and y so what is my del square v del square v is equal to this one okay so dou square v by dou is z squared is equal to 0 this we have to integrate two times first uh, integrate first right integrate once if you integrate what you get if you integrate the differentiation, so what we get is dou v by dou v, it is constant, right hand side, you know integration. Otherwise you differentiate, you will get this answer. Dou square v by dou z square is equal to 0, right? So this is 1. Next to integrate twice, integrate again. What is going? If you integrate this, what you get is v. This will be a z plus some other constant b. You see, if you differentiate, you will get this. Dou V by dou Z is equal to A plus 0. That's what you will get. So typical basic integration. Okay. Now we apply second uh, second one. I, this is the first uh, rule. Second rule is I told apply boundary condition. We know what is the boundary condition. See, uh, when Z is 0, what is V? 
when z is equal to 0, b is equal to 0, right? So, you apply here this is equation number 1. What is the condition? When z is 0, here this implies b is equal to 0, right? So, z to 0, b 0 means this is equal, b is equal to 0. Z to 0, so B 0, so B is equal to 0. That is the first condition. Second condition at Z is equal to D. When Z is equal to D, this is the height uh, D, B is equal to B 0. Because B is equal to B 0 at Z is equal to D. Right? B is equal to B 0. Okay? So, when Z is equal to D, B is equal to B 0. Substitute here, when z is equal to d, b is equal to b0, a into when z d. Already b is equal to 0, so we can make it. So, b is equal to a d. This is the boundary relation. This implies, now you see, b is equal to, right? Uh, this implies a is equal to b0 by d. Right? So, substitute this values uh, here, b is equal to a, a is equal to b0 by d z b0 so b is equal to b0 d by z clear or not now we got b value fine that is star 1 right then uh, what is that? this is algorithm point 3 or 2 okay sorry right so we got 3 apply boundary condition then we got a b value then fourth condition is e is equal to minus del b so Right, e is equal to minus del b, but what is the thing? My b is in z direction only, so don't need to go for del is equal to do x by do y, do uh, x, do by do x, do by do y, do plus do by do z. But my potential is changing only in z direction, so x and y component will be zero, so no need to go for that. So simply take del is equal to do by do z, z vector, b is uh, a, b naught by d, z. Yeah. So, if you simplify what you get, so it is equal to uh, minus do by do z, v naught by d, z into z cap. If you simplify v naught by d minus v naught, z is do by do z 1, so v naught by d, z cap. This is what my e vector. So, next we found e also. Right, so fifth one, what we have to find, then from E, we find D, D is equal to epsilon naught E, right, so epsilon E, epsilon minus V naught D, Z cap, D we got. Then sixth one, D, mod D is nothing but our rho S, that is equal to mod D, if you take mod, modulus of Z cap is 1, Minus will become plus, modulus is magnitude, so it will be plus epsilon v naught by d, 6 to 1. Seventh, what we have to find? Charge, q is equal to rho s into a, rho s is nothing but uh, epsilon v naught d into a, right? So, eighth point, c is equal to q by v, right? So, q, q is nothing but, sorry, uh, q is nothing but, uh, what is happening? We will take this one. q is uh, epsilon, right? Uh, v naught by into a divided by d, right? So, denominator also, v naught, q is equal to q by v naught, because the voltage is v naught only. So, v naught, v naught cancel, what you get is uh, epsilon a by d. This is what uh, capacitance due to parallel grid capacitor we studied. So, c is equal to epsilon a by d. Right? So, what is the meaning of this equation and uh, what are the things we are inferred from this? Those things we learnt in the uh, parallel capacitor derivations using electric field that you can understand the meaning. Just the same meaning applies here also. The derivation only will be different, right? So I hope you understand the things very well. If you have any doubt, please ask me in the comment section. Thank you.